Minister of State in the Ministry of Health and Wellness, Juliet Cuthbert Flynn, has been appointed an advocate for women's health. Among her first activities was a tour of the Victoria Jubilee Hospital. More in the support from Marlon Samuels. Established in 1887, the Victoria Jubilee is the largest referral maternity hospital in the English-speaking Caribbean. Newly appointed Minister of State in the Ministry of Health, Juliet Cuthbert Flynn, met with the hospital staff recently. She also toured the historic facility, which delivers about 600 babies per month. The services offered by the hospital include pre- and postnatal care to prevent, among other things, maternal mortality. We have a teenage clinic yes. which caters for teenagers from under age 16 and that's, that's a, a special clinic which is a, a pilot project for the entire island as well where we have agencies like Sissoka involved. Um, there is counselling in terms of the social worker and the psychologist, which we may need more psychologists. As you know, you know, mental issues are major issues island-wide. And you know, in obstetrics uh, with the pregnant woman, this is also an area that needs additional focus and will need more staffing and personnel. There is also a neonatal unit a unit that looks at fetal development month by month of babies in utero and a clinic offering cancer care. For patients who may have precancerous lesions um, leading, so we have a colposcopy clinic that looks at the cervix, looks at the abnormal pap smear, so we encourage all Jamaican women, I have to take this opportunity, to encourage all women to have your pap smears done annually or every other year once it's, it's normal and should start at age 21 or three years after you have become sexually active. And in 2020, no woman should be diagnosed with cervical cancer if you are doing the right thing. The hospital, which is charged with delivering Jamaica's next generation, has staffing issues. There are quite a number of areas to work on, definitely, as we see. It's a work in progress, but it's a good work in progress, especially where um, the world with the, the babies. Uh, I like what I see. It's very modern. Uh, um, it, you know, have some good equipment in there as far as even the the incubators, but we are in need of more incubators. And so it's a work in progress. And so once I sit down with um, the minister, we can then um, decide where to go from here. The 248 bed hospital, which offers specialist care for women, bringing new life into the world has four ventilators. For the news on PBCJ, I'm Marlon Samuels.